Hello everyone. Thank you for clicking on my channel. Welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine and I live in Nova Scotia. This is your afternoon delight reading. Got a little new addition. Took my sister to a, a novelty shop that was attached to a restaurant. You buy novelties, you get 10% off your meal. <laughs> well, that's not why I bought it. It glows. Isn't that pretty? Yes, that's a lighthouse in there. Okay. Let's get on with your reading. I'm going to see if that works as a timer. <laughs> it settles. I'll know the, the reading is done. Then again, maybe not. We're going to start with your animal oracle. What we have here for you is the blackbird and for someone else, a significant other person you're thinking of, um, the wolf. So with the blackbird, this is a calling to that looking at all the aspects of yourself the call of the soul very important to keep uh, things in perspective in the material world but it also calls to your inner self looking at things that are within you that you may have been fearful to look at in the past but you you're in this mode now the wolf the lone wolf this other person is is going they're exploring their boundaries they're they're testing boundaries exploring boundaries maybe checking out all of their options before they make any decision on anything or anyone so obviously this is about two people in separation um, this may turn out to be a singles reading how refreshing will that be I know that we had a big release on the eclipse we have a black moon had a black moon uh, I'm doing this in the evening of the black moon so I thought this would be a good time to do the afternoon delight reading for tomorrow and to free up some time so we can start decorating for the wedding on Saturday for my special needs sister. Um, family arriving, things are a little chaotic, but we're getting things done. Your fairy oracles showed the guardian at the gate. You've come to this gate. It's bottlenecked. All these energies have all these things, experiences that you've had, have had, have culminated to the gate. You're now at the gate. You don't know what's on the other side. But it's the gate is accessible for you to walk through. Remember, we talked about portals in the previous Afternoon Delight reading. These portals are opening. All you have to do is walk through. There is some sneaking, underhanded energy around you. Someone playing games, maybe head games, um, leading you astray. Just to be careful of people who are not honest or upfront with you um, they they may be the energy that blocks the gate that you are trying to walk through however you have all kinds of help you're being recognized for your worth your value and you're being helped through that gate by others either your ancestrals uh, guardians uh, your guides, uh, friends, family. This card is all about the, the value you have given. The level that you have risen. You're all alight. Let's get on with the tarot reading. Your crowning energies are patience and two of fire. So if you're standing at the gate waiting to go through, um, it is time to jump. But you're, you're feeling like you need to be patient. You're feeling the need to be patient about something. Um, actually, I'm getting a really good feeling off of that because of the two of fire. Uh, you've made a choice. You made a decision. And now uh, spirits picked you up, put you on a guardian's back, grab the hermit's lantern and crossing the finish line with you. Having that patience. 
now that you've made that choice. It seems you have all the patience in the world now because you know exactly where that finish line is. It's in sight. Page of Air, there has been some spying going on. Someone who may have some control issues. You can see that they are controlling the direction of this feather with the, the their wing flapping, wings flapping, sending the air here and there, the feather here and there. You may have felt like this person has done this to you, um, you know, played with your emotions, played with the truth. They may not have always been truthful, but they are spying. They're looking for a way to communicate, but they're defensive because they know you're on your game now. They know it's it's not as easy, easy for you to be sucked into the same cycle, the same game. You're independent. This is you as a single person. You've gained stability, security, balance, being grounded. You're in a really good place and you know it. Here you are saying a prayer of gratitude. Thank you, God, for bringing me here. And it makes you even, in hindsight, look on the past pains as just stepping stones that you know, the gratitude of what this person taught you. This person taught you that you won't, don't want to live like that. You don't want to be like that. You don't want to be uh, triggered into another cycle of games or head games. Or, But they are looking for a way. Is this person waking up? I think possibly. I mean, with the lone wolf, they are checking out their, you know, spreading out their boundaries but they're very very loyal creatures in their own you know once that decision is made there is this meddling energy so perhaps whatever was involved in a past breakup had a lot to do with an outside person or maybe a three-party situation um, but you're at the gate you're at the gate if this is holding you back it won't be holding you back for long because you're being helped through that gate. King of Air, this is someone who, if you're in a, dealing with a lawyer, it's going in your favor or buying a home or a car, they're signing the paperwork. This could be about uh, a person in your life. It could be an air sign, but a person who is not um, showing any emotions whatsoever. They're wearing a mask. It's almost the same energy as this page of air cold cold looking for a way to communicate but on their terms by their rules now the messenger of air i call it my dogma card it can also be the Knight of Wands, but in this particular deck, this is about uh, belief systems. What you believed uh, things should be aren't necessarily the way they are or should be. This is also about standing in your integrity. This is also about a message rushing in and you taking the time to think about it. Do I compromise my integrity? my belief system you are looking towards this cold person who obviously wants to communicate is watching you a lot of heavy air energy here dealing with an air sign perhaps you're looking at them and wondering are you telling me the truth is this another game another power trip to stroke your own ego seven of water um, you have a lot of options here could be that this person has a lot of options too they just want to keep you on that option wheel I don't know why I'm getting the feeling all these feelings about this particular storyline guys it's just coming out it's that I have no idea where this is really coming from just that I get the feeling that you have options and they have options you're single obviously they are um, or they're checking out their options 
but you're following your intuition you don't know everything a lot of things are hidden from you um you don't even need to know you're just following your intuition what feels right three of water you could have dealt with a three-party situation and you're not going to again this could also be about knowing what you can bring to the table and wanting to know what the other can bring to the table before you give this is all about celebration celebrating what people have all brought together to the table you're following your intuition at the heart of the reading you're aware that they're checking out options you have options as well you're not going to get involved in a three-party situation again if that's where you came from queen of earth so you could be dealing with a, an earth sign that wants to nurture a relationship with you uh, an, maybe an earth sign is coming in uh, a, a new love if you were dealing with an air sign and, and now an earth sign is moving into the picture and offers this stability this this is an organized person yeah i think i said nurturing someone you can feel very comfortable with it could be that you're just consulting with a, a friend a female friend who is very close to you and nurturing like a mother a sister friend five of earth feeling left out in the cold you felt left out in the cold but you're noticing those pentacles that were there for you all the time all this time you could have been in a situation where you thought why is my abundance blocked i used to be able to wave my wand in the air and poof magic happened why is it blocked so it looks like you've moved out of an energy you made a decision moved out of an energy that is unblocking you now the guardian at the gate this is being unblocked the guardian at the gate this is being removed whether it's a person or an energy you're noticing that things are beginning to flow again abundance is starting to flow again miracles are starting to happen again magical things if you notice them and now we have the chariot you're moving full force forward this energy is like a scary energy like you're moving forward so fast you're like whoa uh i can be patient i can wait if there is a new person coming into your life uh, they're rushing in they're rushing in it was like one look at you and they're there they want to bring stability they want to bring in a commitment from you they want you to commit to them and if you were involved in someone else that you have some residual energy from they want you to release completely clarifying the patience card we've got four of pentacles so you're still hanging on to some old uh, past possibly a love thinking that if you're just patient long enough you're just that's you'll there will be a break breakthrough but with the four of pentacles it's all also about holding back uh withdrawing your support withdrawing your communication not sharing any more thoughts feelings or whatnot I uh, shuffled the wrong deck, but I'm going to keep it. Bottom of the deck, feeling stuck. It's almost like, here we got the black moon, you guys. This is about new beginnings. Let's get it rolling. Feeling stuck. Something triggered you. You were doing so well, moving moving forward maybe this person did communicate with you or send a message and it just triggered those old feelings and you're like oh my god 
I thought I was over this. Two of fire. You made a decision, but you see, your guardian is taking you over the finish line because you there's still some things that are hidden. But the moon is illuminating the water and there is a tre treasure that's about to be revealed to you when you cross that finish line. Yeah, this person who's spying on you, there isn't a new person. This is someone from your past. They want to come back around. They want forgiveness. They want um, some kind of relationship with you, even if it's as a friend. Nine of Earth is going to be clarified by the, yeah, they still have passion for you. Unfortunately, is it passion? Is there is there no love involved? I'm not seeing a lot of love here. No, just air, some earth. And the two water cards are iffy. When the King of Wands commits, he's loyal, he's faithful. It could be that this person wants to make that decision to... Uh, commit to you being single um, whether they do or they don't they do desire you they do fantasize about you king of air <laughs> for a cold bastard they they think you're their true love to them you are their soulmate but they're not showing any feelings they're cold they won't share anything. Maybe they're the ones at the bottom of that deck that are stuck. Messenger of air. Yeah. You're looking at this person saying, well, are you a player again? Are you playing me again? Or this could be you after this decision. Fog lift. Road is open. And you're racing towards your destiny, your goals, your mark. Not necessarily in this person's direction. But you're looking after you. Seven of water. Options. So this person does have options. They're checking out all of their options. They're a bit confused. They think maybe you're their, their two of cups. They think maybe you are their true love. But there's, they're second guessing themselves. They're playing the field. They're, they're checking out other partners. They're being very arrogant about it and in when it comes to you. Yeah, they haven't left, let any of their guards down. They want you. They think about sex with you all the time. They, they would like to, let's be friends and let's see where it goes. You're thinking a, a, another play, another game, where I do all the giving, you do all the taking. Um, this can be a very stubborn person and a controlling one. High Priestess. Yeah, you're following your intuition. You're following it straight to the Ace of Cups. Straight to your true love. Wherever that path may lead, you know love is at the end of it. So you're living your life, following your intuition, racing down that path towards that destiny, that path, saying, boy, I've got one life. i got to live it. I can't sit around and, and wait or play these games. i got a life to live. I choose to be happy. I want to be happy with you, but I choose to be happy with or without. No more games. Three of water. If it was a third party situation, here it is again. Three of water. There is a want or a need of celebration. I mean, this this, this looks like a lot of people celebrating uh, your accomplishments. Now, this new person coming in, it looks like a new person. Um, they're waiting for their ships to come in. Unless it's this person transformed, but we'll see. they look at you they could be watching you as your ships are coming in 
or they could be waiting for their ships to come in before they make any kind of a move towards you. But they, I get the feeling they're watching you. This person sees you as grounded, stable. You're balanced now. You're, you're, you've been through hell. You've been through hell. And like, no, if I stay in a situation that I'm going to end up in a loony bin. So you went to a place to get grounded. You left the situation. You got back to you. And now your ships are coming in. Five of Earth. Yeah, your ships are coming in. And everybody's going to see it. This glow within you will be noticeable. All these people who had opinions and oh, do it this way and do it that way and do it this way. If this if you or the other person you or the other person are going uh wait a minute this was here for me all along i felt left out in the cold but there it was waiting for me and you or they are just starting to notice it it's like a wake-up call so now the chariot your boundaries are in place You'll fight another battle if you have to, but you are not letting your boundaries down. You're moving forward. <sighs> no more partnership where there's an imbalance, where you're giving all the love and getting no love to fill your cup in return. Nobody can sustain a relationship on an empty cup that is never filled by the other you've got your boundaries in place this is what i deserve this is what i stand for this is not about being in control of another person this is about being in control of yourself knowing what you deserve There's many kinds of abuse, my friends. Head games in a, in a relationship where a person is cold or a player, a control, has control issues. You're done with that. And you've got all kinds of help getting you to that gate you worked on yourself you healed yourself you found your balance again you said wow was it ever good to return to myself again i never want to be like that again i never want to be in that kind of a situation where i feel unbalanced where i that person literally makes you feel like you're losing your mind you haven't you found yourself again and you're being helped through that gate and on the other side of this gate is your destiny waiting for you. That was that star card that kept coming up. That portal opening. I'm going to take this over to the extended reading, guys. I hope that resonated for some of you. If it did resonate for you, you can ask me a question underneath the extended reading, and I will pull you a card to help personalize it for you. On that note, personal readings also for the rest of of the day august 1st are still in effect after that it'll go back to the regular price and friday will be the weekend reading on facebook so please hit like subscribe if you haven't um, share god bless you all thank you for your support we'll see you again soon i hope bye for now